Yesterday I made a video comparing four smartphones and the brightness on their display using this light meter. What I did is I used this light meter to test how high of a brightness each phone could go. At the same time I was going to make a video about how low of a brightness a phone could go but I didn't have enough time for that so we're going to get that done today. If you were interested in the video about how bright the displays got on the four phones I tested, I'll leave a card up there so feel free to take a look. But today I want to do a test about how low of a brightness a phone can get. Now I'm sure people are going to be wondering why would I do a test that shows how low of a brightness a phone could get, but I'll explain why. I did go over a little about it yesterday, but for an example, let's say you're at the theater and you're in the middle of the movie and you want to be that guy that pulls his phone out in the middle of some something going on in the movie. Anyway, let's say you have to pull your phone out. The last thing you want is to have your display at its brightest, but I'm sure you want to keep it at its lowest. And that would be a good scenario where you would probably want the phone at its lowest brightness. Or a better example would be at night before bed. All the lights are off in the bedroom, you want to read a little news, and I know there have been times where I've been in bed and the light is still a little too bright for me, and I wish it could have gone lower. Now before I even go into testing that, let me just say that there is an app called Lux. It's an app that can actually get its brightness lower than the lowest stock setting, but I'm not gonna get into that. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. All right, let's get these phones on. I've already set them at its lowest brightness. Auto brightness is off. It's probably too early to tell and maybe the backgrounds are all different so that might throw things off, but is there one that sticks out that shows the lowest brightness? On my screen it looks like it's the S7, but that's also because it has a dark background so that could just be it. But I'll take my light meter out and we'll give it a go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull a website up that has text on it because that's usually what I do before I go to bed is I'm reading news or you know that kind of stuff. Okay I have all four set up, they're all at its lowest settings, auto brightness is off. We'll start with the HCC 10. Got a 7 on the HCC 10, the LG G5. Got a 2, and it's true, the G5 looks really low, the S7 does as well. S7 is also a 2, and then the Nexus 6P. And the 6P is a 7 as well. So in this test, the G5 and the S7 have the lowest brightness. And it's obvious, I can see it from here. The HTC 10 and the Nexus 6P are a little brighter. I thought the S7 and 6P were actually going to behave similarly, while the G5 and the HTC 10 were going to behave similarly, only because the S7 and 6P are running AMOLED displays, while the HTC 10 and the LG G5 are running LCD displays. But it looks like the behavior is different when it comes to a lower brightness. And just for the sake of comparing, I want to just go through different colors so we can take a look at that as well. Solid colors, solid backgrounds. Okay, we have red here, and look how dark the G5 and S7 is. The G5 especially. And then green. Again, it looks like the G5 has the lowest in terms of like darkness, like lowest brightness. 6P looks like the higher one. Blue. Again, the G5 and the S7. White, same kind of results, the G5 and S7 are the lowest brightness. Gray. And then we have black. At this point, the AMOLED displays should be the darkest because these are still firing up pixels on the LCD displays. But it still looks pretty dark. I mean, if you ask me, if it didn't have the bar at the bottom, I would have thought this was already off as well. The HTC 10 doesn't even look like it's on. Yellow. Again, the two darkest. Magenta. And Cyan. And I'm looking at the camera and the S7 and 6P have some funky, like, bars going around. Anyway, I want to point out in my last test, as terms of brightness goes, as terms of maximum brightness indoors with the auto brightness off, the S7 had the highest brightness display. And it looks like the G5 might have the lowest, but the S7 is a close second. So overall, in terms of display, the S7 looks like it can achieve a very high brightness and also a very low brightness. 
I was reading comments on the video I made yesterday and a lot of you guys said that I should be testing it outdoors with auto brightness on, that the G5 would even be brighter with auto brightness on. As soon as I get a really sunny day, which I think is coming up very soon, you'll understand why, I'll put that test out. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.